Can you believe it? I'm amazed that I haven't absolutely drowned these peppers. I've yet to transplant them. I've yet to, you know, but they are hanging on for just dear life. And I may need to finally just get off my rear end and finally go ahead and transplant them into something better and bigger. I think they will do better if I can just get them. I just need to get off my rear end and do, do something. So, uh, and, uh, and so basically that's it. These are pepper plants, jalapeno peppers. And they've just been in here all spring long. And uh, they are they've long since been ready to transplant, but just haven't uh, gotten around to it. And that's one of the things I do like about this particular system of putting things in flats and various ways of doing it like that. Because you can just kind of leave them there. They tend to survive. They may struggle a little bit, but they tend to just do okay. And, uh, and then when you do have space and time to get to it, they're okay. So you don't have to especially for things like peppers that take a long time to sprout out and all that kind of thing. So, so that's a quick tip. You'll move to a system of cups and things like that, put it in there, and then move it back on out. So you can see the buckets are just, you know, compare the buckets to the raised bed, okay, to this. A lot more bug problems nice pretty healthy but just not a lot really healthy and a lot I mean it's just you know and so uh, and so there you go you know another thing I think is the buckets I the, because they're just so convenient I tend to more some people are saying oh the buckets get talked to more than anything else because every time they watch one of my videos they see me talking at the buckets here and that may, that may be something to it as well. Maybe I'm just, you know, it's easier. I mean, I can just walk over here. I mean, a couple times a day, I just kind of walk here, pick me some leaves, go make a sandwich, I you, you know, and, and I'm done, you know. Whereas everything else gets neglected, you know. Let's go over here and take a look at these tomatoes. Talk about neglect. <laughs> you guys need some support both of you they're doing okay huh what do you think about that guys yes this, this topsoil works pretty well this is good stuff I've just neglected them. they just need some support and I've got some uh, I've got some bamboo stakes up here so let's just go let me do another video of that so I'll cut it off now I'll go do another video on you know supporting your tomatoes even if they're in little small pots like that I'll be right back all right talk to you later